the School of the Earth, an idea proposed for what the NYU Gallatin building could become in 2061. Bearing in mind the environmental, social, and cultural changes, this project has been completely redesigned from the ground up. Considering physical and educational design, both the space and program are intended to be conducive to learning and capable of responding to a changing environment. That's I mean, good. It's when you wash your hands, that's like sectioned into a specific category of water runoff and other things. The class began by learning the history of green architecture. Focusing on early influencers such as Frank Lloyd Wright and Herbert Bayer, the class gained new perspectives on the importance of environmentally conscious design. Our mantra quickly mirrored the notion that form follows function. After many design and writing assignments for class, we broke up into 12 different groups. We envisioned eight major sections of the building, or eggs as we called them, to which each group contributed in a different way. Community space and administration, classrooms and study spaces, history and library, wellness and counseling, the public entrance, food and farming, jobs slash makerspace, and green spaces. This is the new lab, located in the Brooklyn Navy Yards. It is a makerspace and home to Terraform One, Mitchell Joachim's company. This is where we are building the model for our class. So this is the next half of the building that comes out of the original Gallatin. It's the towers that come out of the top and the top. So it was modeled in Rhino, and then Kareem used the laser cutter to cut out the foam. Um, and then we just piece it together. We're gonna connect them with glue and it'll become solid. And this is where the pods are going to be housed. Yeah, we, they like slide into the web. Yeah, we can integrate them into the design. Yeah, it's pretty fluid. The School of the Earth is a place of uninhibited learning, built to function within New York City's changing ecosystem. As an institution, we imagine it as a place open to new ideas, new ways of thinking, and hopefully, new approaches to dealing with a changing world and a changing climate. You guys put together a ginormous model that I don't think any architecture school would be able to accomplish. Tremendous effort there for the whole modeling team and everyone in the group that had their input to design all the different areas and concepts that are there. And you can see the details up on the posters that are here and also in a book. So I, I, I think that, that kind of summarizes a lot of what was going on in the class of Pater. First of all, I'm so proud of you guys. Uh, and this building will look very different. There will be global warming, which is unfortunate, this is happening. And there's going to be a, this beautiful building on top of us. Uh, and it's going to be very sustainable. It's going to be, have zero environmental impact. You're going to have a huge educational impact. The project is really about reimagining what education could be and should be in the future. Not like today, much better. Better. Because sustainable life is a good life. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone. everyone.